Hello, friends from all over the world. Welcome to the special live streaming from a bee farm in Singapore. Now, I don't know many how many of Bee Day. Um, bees, as Einstein said, is very important. Uh, if he he said, if bee dies today, mankind will only have four years to live, uh, because bee is a very important species in this ecosystem, uh, because the, they pollinate. And then, if they die, then there will be a lot of fruits and vegetables and plants will not exist. Animals will die, and hence we as mankind cannot continue.、Um, there are a few. Fun facts about bees:、uh, We talked about it's a very important species in the ecosystem. But also,、uh, but unfortunately, the global bee population is declining、uh, in the past few years.、Uh, and the third fact is uh, uh, urban bee farms. There are a lot of urban bee farms popping up all the way from、uh, in New York, Chicago, to London, Paris, and now to Asia, to this part of the world. And today we are in one of them, and、uh, it's run. By、uh, John Chong, who is an educator turned into a farmer. John, please join us. Yes, thank you. Nice, thank you. Nice, nice to, to meet see you. you. Thanks. So,、um, Thanks for now, having me. Singapore is,、uh, as we know, a very urban、uh, city state. Right? Yes. And when when people talk about Singapore, we we think about skyscrapers.、Just、But now、uh, we have this、um, renaissance in having more urban. Farms,、right. rooftop farms, and、uh, now there's a urban bee farm. So,、right. what was the、uh, idea came about for you? Okay, because Singapore, we have I think we have developed too quickly, and then there's I think there's a disconnect with nature. So it's my mission to bring Singaporeans back to love bees, so that Singapore become bee friendly. Lots of Singaporeans they are tend to be afraid of bees because I think they've been misled with a misconception. Bees are out to harm us. Out of stingers, so I'm on a mission to change that, to help Singaporeans to、uh, eliminate the fear of the bees, so they become friends with the honey bees.、Mm-hmm. And because bees are so important to our ecosystem, the bees are responsible for one third of our food supply, and they are important pollinators, and they provide jobs to all people from all over the world in terms of beekeeping and honey production.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, of course, and then now. I hope to be on a mission to set up bee sanctuary in Singapore and help more urban areas all over the world globally to maybe use beekeeping as part of our solution to climate change. Because when we have, when we want to set up bee sanctuary, we need our plants, we need our trees. Imagine all the urban areas; we are no longer cutting down trees, but we plant more trees and more plants. Not only just for bee-friendly plants, by having more trees and more bee-friendly plants. I think this could be a small contribution to a solution for climate change、mm. and sustainability as well. So, what are the native bees from Singapore? Okay, in Singapore, there are only five types of honey bees. So, they are first time、uh, found in Singapore, and some of them also been found in China,、uh, all the way、uh, most part of Asia. Just the most、uh, common type of bees in Singapore, and. Uh, I have them here. Yes, just over there.、Uh, see, maybe we can take a look. Yeah, we can take a look.、Yeah. Yes, maybe I bring this out. Yeah. Yeah. So these、yeah. are the indigenous. These are the indigenous plant、uh, honeybees of Singapore. Singapore. Oh, this is the most common one, the Asian honeybees. And then there's、uh, the the there are also stingless bees. In Singapore, there are ele- about eleven species that observe stingless bees. They can't sting us, but they can bite us, right? But these are ant bites,、mm-hmm. and then also you have the Asian high end giant honey bee, and this is the most aggressive. I think this some of the bees can be found in China, in Nepal, all the way to Singapore as well. And these are the most aggressive bees, which I don't keep them.、Mm-hmm. And then in Singapore there are also two types of、uh, dwarf bees. Here you have the red dwarf honey bees, and、are、then there's、uh, the black dwarf honey. These are much smaller than the the Asian honey bee. A single honeycomb. Unlike this one, this form. Uh, para honeycomb, just、uh, it can be kept in a box. It can be so-called domesticated in a box,、mm-hmm. but they like to be in a box. They like to be open on a horizontal branch.、Mm-hmm. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. So、um, you you invite visitors coming here. 
draw people yes. do honey tasting right. but you told me that you also conduct a workshops to uh, tell them a bee family how to be a family yes, what that, is that about right now i'm like since, maybe we yeah, go over sure, there we can go over there because uh, yes. we know that in the colony there are three types of bees yes, right so the, there's the queen there's the worker yes, bees there's here. also the male one yes the if you look at this yeah. uh, this is a typical uh, european honeybees mm -hmm. we don't have european honeybees in singapore yet all right and then of course one queen bee the queen bee is always the longest the largest and only has one job the job is to lay eggs and then they have the drones the drones only appear uh, during the mating season and then after, most of them after mating they will die and those that do not successful mated they'll be so-called evicted from the hive in a bee kingdom no work no honey so you got to work to earn yourself to have some honey, mm -hmm. right? Just like the worker bees, and the worker bees are all female. They do all the work. they make all the decisions. And if you look at my beehives, uh, I name after all my beehives, after female names. Bee family is a matriarchy family. Yes, so I <laughs> name them all female. Yeah. Right. And, and here, this... So this is a, a typical honeycomb, mm -hmm. whereby this is a little, uh, uh, what they call, ripe honey there's a cap honey when it's cap it's kept with a layer of beeswax mm -hmm. yeah and these beeswax can be uh natural byproducts for many yes things, they right? are these are all naturally made by the bees mm -hmm. and then of course after you have harvested the honey you can render the beeswax and make them to candles mm -hmm. you can make them to lip balms you can make them cosmetics as well. There are many or, or polishes. So yes, you can use it to wrap food, like food yes, wrap. or food wrap. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. There are many uses for for bee sex. Right. Yes. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the the unique uh, hive, the comb shape? And I read somewhere they said it's the most efficient way. Oh yes. So the, the if you look at the honeycomb, honey yes. If you look at the honeycomb, right? Yeah. Is in order to produce one gram of beeswax. The honeycombs that make of beeswax, and to get this beeswax in the abdomen of the honeybees, they have uh, these uh, uh, wax glands. So they secrete these wax flakes, and they use these wax flakes to build this honeycomb, six-sided hexagon shape, hexagonal uh, honeycombs, which are most efficient uh, uses of material because they need honey just to produce one grams of beeswax. So they need to be very efficient and in terms of the hexagonal shape of the honeycomb they are efficient in terms of storage of space there's no wastage of space mm -hmm. uh, very efficient use of the material given to them mm -hmm. all right and then because of that is considered very strong with a, a, a very structure, strong structure right? for them to store the the pollen the honey mm -hmm. and then for the queen bee to lay eggs mm -hmm. into them mm -hmm. So there are a lot of uh, sayings around bee, like busy as a bee. Yes. Are bees uh, always busy? Of course. <laughs> the worker bees especially. They're the moment busy. the sun comes up, yeah. they are out for nectar, for pollen, mm. and then sometimes you get uh, uh, propolis. Mm. Propolis is can use, it's a very uh, highly uh, anti-microbial uh, properties. They can use as a tincture for, because of this uh, highly antibacterial factor, it's very good for treating ulcers, and also medicinal purposes mm. and of course the, 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 the work the bees work from uh, sun up to sundown okay right. and at night they will go back to yes at night home. they will return to the mm. beehive mm -hmm. and then while well, only a small portion of bees will go to the beehive to go out to forage but the majority of the bees are actually working inside the bee beehive to out of honey. the to, to create honeycomb mm. to feed the baby bees to feed the queen bee the, to to do uh, uh, to build up honeycomb to ripen up the honeycomb they do a lot of work you how want, long does it take for them to build a honeycomb okay like it all that? depends on the availability of the nectar around mm -hmm. so in singapore unfortunately we don't have too many flowers so it takes a longer time right. but let's say you're in a in a situation whereby lots of flowers Within one week, you can have lots of honeycomb. Oh, All right. Okay. In fact, yeah. Okay. So, shall we go and see? Oh, because this bee can sting, right? Right. We need to uh, observe safety first. Put on the so protective gear. So, we need to put on gear. protective gear. Okay. A let's jacket do it. And, uh, and a gloves. Gloves. Okay. okay. So, let me help you with this. Okay. 
So that's another thing that you teach your visitors is how to not be stung, right? Yes, I, I teach my visitors okay, how not to be stung by bees and what they can do if they are stung by bees. And now let me put this hood over your head. Okay. okay. And you want to uh, your hand brush backwards. And let me uh, zip this down over here to front. Yeah, I'm just okay. trying to put the mic up. Okay. All right. Let me put this over here mm -hmm. and this side. Okay, so now your pretty face is more uh, protected. Okay. So, okay, let me make sure that it's all zipped properly. Okay, you can put this flat down onwards, okay. And now we need to put on some gloves. And then, uh, yeah, you put some gloves. And there's a, there's a flap here. Mm -hmm. You can just put this flap uh, on over your, your, your wrist. Okay, never mind. I think we just put like this, this here. Yeah, here like that. You can uh, just go here. Okay. All right, here. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay. So when you are, after you're going to take some photographs about 2,000 bees wow. on, a, on a top bar. I use, I keep bees in recent African top bar. Mm -hmm. You're going to take a photograph with the bees and observe about 2,000 bees and all you do is just to stay calm. Okay. Right? You are well protected. You see, you have gloves, you have, you have the hood. You are well protected. You okay, are safe. I'm ready. So now it's my turn to go. Okay. I need help. Okay. Yes. John. Come. Gabriel needs help. Okay, here you go. How many urban bee farms are there in Singapore? Oh, less than, uh, less than three. Less than three. <laughs> it's a small community. Yes, very small. Uh, there are less than uh, uh, maybe about. There are more and more people want to do beekeeping, but to have a place like that, uh, maybe this is probably the only one. There's another one. Adaptation. All right, come. We go in now. I, re I read in like uh, Western, like London, Paris, they keep it on top of like hotels and yes, rooftops. Yes, yes, yes. I keep bees at Santosa Golf Club. Mm. Yeah, we go this way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe young man, you stand here and you can come here. And there. Now, just to demonstrate. I don't know about bees in other places, but as far as Singapore bees, this is how I demonstrate. You see the bees are here. These are the guard bees. Let me demonstrate to you that bees are not out to harm us. If we move slowly or we don't move at all, we are stationary, the bees will not unnecessarily harm us. So I'm going to put my hands just at the entrance of the beehive. See? Now, of course, it's rain because rain, there are less bees. See, they don't even bother me. All right? These are some of the guard bees. Inside this beehive, at least 20 to 25,000 bees in here. Okay, so I'm going to open up and we're going to examine the bees. So because it's just rain, I need to have an umbrella cover it so we will not uh, disturb the bees. They don't like bees. to be they wet. They don't like to be wet. Because when we open up when it's wet, we are actually disturbing the internal temperature of the, the, the beehive inside. So their bees have to do more work. Ah. Yeah. Okay, now let me, let me take this out. And most important thing when we observe the bees, we always protect our face. <laughs> because they always want to attack our face. No. The bees normally they attack our face first. Okay? So now I'm well protected and I'll open up this box and then I'll take out some of the bees. And maybe you can stand here so that yeah, you can stand here so that people can see. You can stand next to me over here. Okay? Uh, you can stand over there. Uh, you after I pass to you first. Then you took the bees like that. You just hold on the bees so I can see from here. I have an African top bar. All I need to do is to hold on to the bees just like that. Stationary, uh -huh. without movement. Okay. When any sudden move, the bees will just rattle all over the place. So I don't even smoke my bees. Normally, beekeepers will want to smoke the bees to, you know, to calm the bees. But I don't want what to do, do they so. What do use to smoke it? Okay, any kind of a smoking material, dry leaves or any material that smoke. The, to smoke the bees is to actually to calm the bees. 
how does that action calm so called calm the bees in inverted commas because bees actually when you, you when you have made a right? the bees think that there is a forest fire mm. so the bees here will gouge on the honey store mm. and keep it in the honey stomach when they have honey stomach fill with honey stomach in that's how we say calm the bees but i don't do so because i have conduct lesson many times a day if I keep on smoking the bees, then the bees think that this is a terrible place for the bees to be. All right, maybe you just cover over here. Okay, just uh, I'm going to take this one out. And I slowly take the bees out. Okay. And then you just hold, I just, I put it on your thumb here like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then I also can put on you. All right, then you can take a pictures. Because I done Okay, now. Let me show slowly, get the bees out. So most of them are worker bees here? They are all worker bees, except the one queen bee. And there's no drone? There are no drone set because it's not made, uh, they're not made swarming yet. Only the drones appear during the swarming season. So they're not swarming yet. And see this is a honeycomb that I have. Mm -hmm. So you can take a picture of the bees like that. Mm -hmm. See, you can examine the bees. Wow. See, they're all busy working. Fascinating. Okay. Yeah. So just don't know no movement. Okay. They'll be agitated. Right. Okay. So these are indigenous uh, Asian honeybees? Asian honeybees. Uh, the scientific name is called Ip. Mm. So like they, what, now they're creating honey? Now they are just creating honey. They are also, sometimes they are flapping their wings or ripen the honey. Where are we, the baby bees? The baby bees uh, could be, see, under this, some of that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, these are all the cat baby bees. Uh, white little larvae. Mm -hmm. I think maybe it is other honeycomb. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, would you, you want to, I, I, I pass that to you. You want to take a picture with these? Okay, just stay still. See, now the bees are a bit agitated because of the rain. Okay, just stay still. Okay, you see? And you look, hold higher up, slowly. <laughs> see, you are one brave boy. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> there are 2,000 bees. They are holding 2,000 bees 20, here. 20,000? No, 2,000 2, here. No. This one. Okay. On that one, about 2,000. Wow. Okay. All right. So now, you see, you are one brave boy. Now we keep them back, okay? So we want to agitate the bees too much. So when you much. handle bees, yes. you just have to be like very calm and very slow, slow motion, isn't you it? You see now some of them are agitated. Okay, calm because down. Because of the rain, calm down. so now I put it back. Back slowly. Oh, you got one? <laughs> I got one. Yeah. He likes so it. So you have to you have to for to do beekeeping, you got to have a mm. And you gotta treat the bees nicely. Mm -hmm. You that's why there's some people say if the bees are angry because the owner is always angry mm. so if the owner that is not angry then the bees will not be angry so we gotta treat them nice and mm -hmm. then uh, just uh, so you see the bees are not angry now just mm. now okay so now you just look at that i don't even smoke the bees mm -hmm. all right most people will smoke the bees but i don't even smoke them mm -hmm. all right i just treat them uh, nicely i think they want to go back they yes they will go back this way Oh, okay, now because okay. they escape, they'll go back. Now they are trying to es they they are agitated okay. because of the rain. When the rain is the more agitated than usual, okay. So you ma made this this. Uh, uh, I I got a carpenter. Side? My carpenter skill is not that good, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I need to improve on my carpentry skill. So what I do, I get somebody a carpenter to 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 make. That. What is the basic structure of a hive? Or anything can be a... Oh, any. Right? Any, any, any empty door, box. Empty any box? empty boxes. Let's say jewel box. Uh, uh, or even a flower pot, upturned flower pot. The bees mm -hmm. will go in there. Mm -hmm. Even cupboards. Mm -hmm. So like in Singapore, I find bees in cupboards. Mm -hmm. I find bees in school. Uh, in, mm -hmm. I find bees in even bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also find, no. yeah, in bedrooms, a, yes. A colony of bees. A colony of bees in the bedroom. And wow. some, yeah. Okay. Another kind of bees here. These are the dwarf bees. Dwarf over bees? Here. Yes. I keep them in a, in a cage. Why? Because the monkeys, if I don't keep it in a cage, 
the monkeys will come and attack them and take away the honey. Oh yeah, so in Singapore, in Singapore although we are urban setting because but we have lots of wild wildlife as well, <laughs> there are otters, there are monkeys yeah. and squirrels. Yeah. So for this, the squirrels and the monkeys around my region here, mm -hmm. they have developed a love for them. Oh. We cage them up, the monkeys and the squirrel will attack them and take away all the honey. So you see this, this is a and it's a single honeycomb, there's only one comb honey. And the honey is right on top. They wrap over the whatever horizontal bar. Mm. Okay. So uh, this is a very different setting from the other uh, This is a different, because it's a totally different species. Oh, okay. These are the dwarf bees. Dwarf bees. Those are the Asian bees. So they create less honey. They create less honey because they're so small. Okay. And honeycomb is only so it's much smaller. Okay. And uh, of course, the honey is, uh, of course, very much less. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's still good honey. Yeah. Okay. So, well, congratulations. Yes. Yeah. And, and I'm so glad to have you to observe the bees. And uh, I think we need to send a message uh, all over the world. And today. World Bee Day. Uh, so, what a good way of celebrating World Bee Day with CG. TN. <laughs> Thank you so much, and, John. And, and China, you have uh, lots of uh, beekeepers. They're excellent. They produce a lot of good honey. Right. They are the largest exporter of honey all over the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, I hope to learn from some of the beekeepers in China. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the situation allows, and I'm only a new beekeeper in mm -hmm. Singapore, but I have a message to send all over the world. All right. I think we can use bees uh, to keep. And then we can uh, possibly uh, not only just make honey, and we can be part of the solution to climate change. Excellent. We've had a thousands of years of history of yes. uh, living alongside with bees, right? Yes. In ancient Egypt, there's already honey Correct. being consumed. Yeah. Um, so hopefully, with more urban beekeepers coming along, we, we will. Uh, but the trend of this declining population yes, of bees. Yes. Uh, and uh, as you said, the urban uh, urban bee farming goes hand in hand with urban with, with farming and sustainability, uh, yes. which is, uh, I think, a lot of people are thinking about all these yeah. topics post-pandemic. Correct. Thank I you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. On that note, well, yeah. uh, we'll say goodbye. Bye-bye. Happy World Bee Day.